it touched home for me because I was part of that epidemic. One of the DEA's most wanted brought in thousands of kilos of cocaine to the U.S. every day for them. For who? The U.S. government. They knew that black America was going to be detrimentally affected and went ahead and pursued national security interests. Fancy information you have there. Dangerous. It affected the whole community that I grew up in. L.A., New York, Atlantic. I couldn't sell it fast enough to keep up with supply. I mean, it was everywhere. You could just pull up and buy crack cocaine on any corner. Finally, for a story to be told about the roots of this tragedy. The CIA wanted to fight a war that Congress didn't want. And the ripple effect of that would happen in South Los Angeles and other American cities where that was a mistake. It goes back to government action and complicity in the ravaging of a community. Are you really telling me that I should just walk away from this? You'd be an idiot not to. It impacted the community. Horribly. What about this doesn't piss you off? We saw the police officers drive down the street and engage in this behavior. We're talking about mass incarceration in some neighborhoods, a decimation of the male population. And it's still going on. Nothing is changing. Nothing's going to change. When you have people who have power, they can pay to cover up anything that they want. This film is a cautionary reminder that we need to stay vigilant and need a real watchdog press. Getting involved with cocaine at a young age is still affecting my life right now today. This story scares people. Well, it should. There may be people across the nation who don't know the story firsthand like we do. And I can assure you that it's truthful. It gets to the core. And I'm glad it got made. It's oh over. I'm not finished with it. I'm not finished. Where will you be for the revolution? Where will you be for the revolution?